Can you see the snake? Do I know what kind that is? No. Because I don't know anything about Israeli snakes. But that sure is a snake. And he sure is pretty dang long. I would say... Zoom in on his face, he's looking at me. Bloop. This is on the wall of this house here that we live in. I would say he is three feet long. Man, that's scary. Doesn't look poisonous, but who knows? Looks can kill. Oh my god. Dude, seriously? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a smart snake. Jeez. Well, I kind of want to apologize for freaking out today. I get really easily stressed when I don't get my way, when it's something that should be that way. Do you know what I mean? And I get easily stressed in the car. And I don't even know what I said today, but I'm pretty sure that I said that I hate this place and I want to get out of it because that's how I felt. And I'm, I really, I'm not about BS. <laughs> I really want to tell you the truth. I want to tell you what it's like for me to live here and deal with people here. And right now I'm having a lot of trouble with the medical situation here. Um, and I, my number one thing is, I want to look back on these vlogs and be like, why didn't I say that? You know, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be like, well, I, I kind of remember that. I was really mad at Hadar. Why didn't I say anything about it? Or, you know, like Hadar was mad at me because I didn't do something or, you know, whatever. Why didn't I say, why am I being fake right there? Um, acting like I'm happy and I'm not, you know? There hasn't been too many videos where I actually have looked back on it and said that. What I do uh, regret in my earlier videos is not showing my body because I would like to look back, you know, a year ago and see what I looked like um, a year ago. And just like, I'm trying to show more of my body now, even though I hate I hate how big I am right now. I'm so big, but I'm trying to show more of my body so I can see where I've been and where I'm going to, you know? And I, I'm just, I'm not about BS. You're not gonna get BS on this channel. If I'm not happy, you're gonna know about it or I'm not gonna vlog. If it's that bad, I'm not gonna vlog. I'm not gonna pretend to be happy when I'm not. And I'm going to go a little deeper than the Kardashians, you know what I mean? I'm not going to be a hot topic speaker. I'm not superficial. Everything is like the way it is, you know? Can I'm you No BS, okay. I do hear you. Can you get out of that dirt, please? Huh? Get out of the dirt. The yeah, dirt? the dirt. And, you know... You, you should know me by now if you've watched me for like a month. You should know me by now, really. Um, a lot of you have watched me from the very beginning, and you really do know me. <laughs> you know me a lot. You know me very well. So, 
Um, I just, I want to apologize, like, this whole, this month, this whole month, I've taken a lot of breaks, um, because I've been very depressed, and I'm very stressed out, I'm, I'm super stressed, and I thank you for, like, encouraging me, and and saying nice things and just like praying for our baby and but this this is this is I'm being as honest and open and just like completely transparent as I can be this is me you know and this is everything that's going on in my life and it's a very accurate picture of what is going on in my life there's we don't turn the camera off and there's other people here you know different people we're the same people camera on or camera off it's just that's it if you think Raphael is cute you should see him when he's off camera the kid is adorable just freaking adorable and you, I wish that you could see I wish that you could see every time we go to the store it's like hard on me because everybody is in love with him. You know what I mean? Anywhere we go, everybody is in love with him. So, I mean, there, there is a lot of things, good and bad, that you don't see, but, but I try to show both things, good and bad. And when my life is like, everything's good, that's when I start to get really scared because I feel like it's gonna take a turn for the worst at any second. But when my life is really good, I share the good things but I also talk about the bad things and that may be you know holding me back but at the same time these vlogs are more for me than they are for a career so when I look back at these vlogs I don't want to see a phony I I don't want to see that my friends from high school watch this vlog you know what I mean they know me I'm not going to show them something that they're like, who are, who's that? <laughs> who is this person? No. Uh, my high school friends, my friends from like kindergarten, so very old friends. And a couple of friends from WOW that we've met. One guy, he actually, he, he watched a vlog. And he was like, what the heck is going on? And he called Hadar. While Hadar is in Florida, he called him. And he said, what the heck is going on? Because <laughs> he wants to know. Basically, his kid, he has a little girl. And she is, I believe, one day older or one day younger than Raphael. So they're very close in age. Her name is Scarlett. She is adorable. And they also have a little boy. She was pregnant when we went to Halloween Horror Nights together. And she didn't know it. And she was like seven months pregnant. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. She didn't even look pregnant. She really did not look pregnant. So we, these, these people that watch, um, I, I can't be a phony. And while it may hurt me, uh, I, I can't be anything else. And... I am sorry for that, for people who want to see, like, me going around in Israel and just having, hey, oh, no, I can't get that, something that I need very vitally, oh, I can't, okay, <laughs> have a good day, thank you very much, I'm not like that, if something's not fair, and this is, this whole process has not been fair, in my opinion, if something's not fair, I have to speak up, whether it's for me for my mom, for somebody that's in line in front of me and they're not being fair to them, I, I have to speak up. That's just the way that I am. Um, when we got charged for our drinks at the Golden Corral and it said on the board that drinks were free, <laughs> come on now, I, I can't, you know, it's, it's a fair thing. And I'm very fair. I don't ask for, like, way more than I should get, you know? I think I'm being very, very fair to everybody. Um, I'm, I try my best not to be rude. 
Although Hadar says I do have Israeli mentality now and an Israeli attitude, I don't think I do. I, I'm still very polite. Uh, but sometimes you, you have to be a bee. And that woman today, the sonogram woman, she was a complete and total bee to me. And I couldn't do anything about it because she shut me down. I don't speak English. <laughs> so, so I had to have a patient who was there waiting translate Hebrew for me. <sighs> so my life is not easy. And I, I do wish Hadar was here for this. This is a very, like, oh, there's got to be some reason Hadar is not here for this. There has to be, it's like a, a test or something for me. It just, I, it feels like I'm being tested. And this is a really long time to be tested. You know what I mean? Um, it's, it's not as bad as what Job went through, but it's a test nonetheless. Um, so I, I am, <laughs> like every time I go to the doctor, I ha I, it's right in the front of my face. And then I have to like push it back and forget about it again. So um, I do have an appointment in eight days from now. Eight days from now. So it, it would be a total of a month from the time that the, the sonogram tech told me that the baby didn't have a cerebellum to the time where I actually get a level two sonogram. But the doctor today didn't encourage me. He said, I said I was very dehydrated when I had this done and these pictures, these sonogram pictures, they are really bad. I mean, look at them, you know, it showed them. And he said, being dehydrated doesn't matter. And I was like, oh my God, why are you telling me this? Like, why are you not encouraging me? <laughs> but he is a very nice doctor. His bedside manner was very good and he was very understanding to what I was going through, to the anxiety that I have. And he, he understood and he told me he understood you know he's not just like writing me off shutting me up get out um and that's how i've been treated so far um i have three doctors my OBGYN that i had to switch to and she's good but i can't get back into her office until july and um that's a couple of months from now my general doctor who gave me medicine for my breathing and it was actually doing really well for me. And this doctor, this surgeon. So, I mean, I couldn't hope for a better surgeon. He speaks English, he's very nice. So hopefully everything's gonna be good. I am going to go to the store, I think, because I am really craving a milkshake. I want a banana almond milk milkshake. That's what I really want. So I'm going to take him back to the park and play for a little while. And I'll probably put it in tomorrow's vlog because this is really long now. <laughs> but I am sorry that, you know, some of my vlogs are negative and I'm in a bad mood. But that's, that's life. I mean, are you in a happy mood every day? If you are, I mean, wow, you're probably really annoying. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but you got to have skills. <laughs> Anyway, well, that's okay. Um, we, we're all different, but I'm pretty sure that everybody experiences all emotions within their month until they have their period. So, <laughs> oh well. Well, the sun is going down, so I got to get out of here. Raphael has been swimming, but he's naked, so I'm not going to show it. Um, but I've been sitting here watching him play with a bug right now, naked on the floor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a beetle, and it was in his pool, so he threw it out. Anyway, so I'll talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye. You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share. Fully living. Well, today I have my high-risk appointment. I just got done with my nap, so I already took a nap, and I already took a bath. <laughs> She's trying to get Raphael's appointment speech 